regulatory reform plan is the creation of an agency to protect consumers in credit, savings, and mortgage markets. Many consumer groups have been advocating for this type of protection, including the National Community Reinvestment Coalition. It's an association of more than 600 community-based groups that promote access to basic banking services, affordable housing, and job creation. Jim Carr, the coalition's chief operating officer, joins us now from Washington. Mr. Carr, welcome to Bloomberg News. Thank you. Pleased to be here. Uh, sir, as, as uh, you were just hearing during uh, our report uh, by Lindsey Arendt, uh, the ranking member of the Senate Banking Committee, Alabama Republican uh, Richard Shelby, had said uh, of, of these plans to give the Fed more authority, he called it a grossly inflated view of the, Fred's, of the Fed's expertise. Sounds like he was saying they were breathing their own oxygen. Before we get into the consumer angle of this, what do you think about these expanded regulatory powers for the Fed? Well, I think it's really important to recognize that the entire financial services regulatory infrastructure failed, not just the Fed, all of it. And so we need a systemic risk regulator. So when you look at the different federal regulatory agencies and ask yourself, short of putting together a whole new institution, which could be very difficult and very time consuming, which one actually has the greatest breadth of knowledge, uh, the institutional staff, that sort of thing, the right. systems and the ability? And that would be the Federal Reserve Board. Although one would, would I think, the observation that they missed uh, so many opportunities to avoid the current crisis is true. But I think that was then, this is now, I think that they really understand that going forward, they have to do a much better job, particularly right. if they are given these expanded powers. Did Mr. Carr, what role did the uh, NCRC play in advocating for that change in the Consumer Protection Agency? Well, we are working uh, both independently on a number of consumer protection activities, as well as with a much broader coalition of uh, more than 120 groups across the country uh, called Americans for Financial Reform. And we put this forward as one of our key initiatives, that we need better systemic risk management. Um, but I should say that that issue around the consumer protection is actually an, a, a key component of better systemic risk. Well, sir, the you, reason know, you know there has been some pushback on Capitol Hill to towards that part of the plan. Absolutely. And it, it just amazes me. The major arguments are, for example, that if consumers have better protection uh, in the marketplace, that the credit markets will collapse. Well, you have to ask yourself, where have those people been? The markets have collapsed. And with $12.8 trillion worth of public subsidies and in investments, loans, and guarantees, it's still on life support. The second thing is, one has to ask themselves, what kind of financial system are you looking for if, in fact, your argument is that if consumers better understand the products that they're accessing or are better protective from fraud and abuse that somehow that's a bad thing. That's a good thing. So the, the arguments against better consumer protection are, are almost laughable. And right. in fact, the reality of it is this current crisis, when we're talking about systemic risk, if we had better consumer protection on the front end from reckless, unfair, and deceptive practices in the market, we would not have the crisis we have today. And, and Mr. Carr, we have about a minute left. Your group's been involved in mortgage, in the mortgage arena, trying to make sure that people can stay in their homes and avoid foreclosure. How how has that been going? Well, you know, it, it, the new program by the administration, Making Home Affordable, is the most comprehensive and intelligent pro program that's been put out yet And uh, since this crisis began, and it has had the greatest successes. But those successes are still measured in the tens of thousands as opposed to the millions. We've had over a million foreclosures since the beginning of the year, so we also need a much broader uh, response to this foreclosure crisis. Uh, you hear a lot of talk about how the markets are beginning to uh, recover and, and, you know, the good news and the green shoots, but the fact is the foreclosures are continuing to grow. Right. So we need to address that problem because that was the underpinning of the entire collapse of the credit markets and ultimately the economy in the first place. Jim Carr, the chief operating officer of the National Community Reinvestment Coalition, joining us from Washington. The battle begins in Congress over the president's health care plan. The price tag, a trillion dollars. We'll go back to Washington next.